Okay, let's take a look now at the semicolon. The semicolon is a little bit unusual, I think a mystery to many people. But first of all, let's look at what the semicolon is, right? It looks like a dot like that with kind of a comma underneath it. Like this here, right? Semicolon, looks like that. There you go. So how do you use a semicolon? How does it function? Let's take a look. The semicolon is a special use, which is to combine basically two sentences. Remember we talked about combining two independent clauses with a comma and a conjunction. But a semicolon lets you do that without using the conjunction. You just take two sentences basically and put them together. Here's a perfect example. Recent sales of the computer were very low. Semicolon. Alex questioned how much was being spent on advertising. These are basically two sentences put together. Please pay attention though. Before the semicolon, there is no space. And after the semicolon is one space. All right, let's take a look at a, another example here. The sky is dark semicolon, it will rain soon. That's the same as putting those two clauses into two sentences. The sky is dark, period. It will rain soon, period. So you basically have two separate ideas in two sentences, and they have a subject and a verb. So we have a, a subject and a verb. But when we use the semicolon, we can put everything together into one sentence. So it's a little bit of a special case. The semicolon really helps you to put two ideas very close to each other. The only relationship that they really need to have is that one follows the other. It's not really just one idea, but somehow you put them together one after another. If those two ideas go right next to each other, then you make the sentence kind of shorter, don't you? Because you're not using two sentences anymore. You also give it a feeling of force or power. Okay, you don't want to do it too often, but when you do use a semicolon, just remember it's the same as using a comma and a conjunction, because it's two sentences basically coming together. You don't want to use it too much. Once in a while is good, Inside an essay, maybe once or twice would be good, but not every paragraph. That would be too much, too strange. Good luck.